Thank you for choosing Starbucks. Are there any breakfast items or pastries I can turn my side off for today? Uh, not today. Can I have a triple espresso on ice in a venti cup? You said a triple espresso over ice in a venti cup? Yes. All right, and then a venti cup. Do you need anything in that? Nope, that's it. All righty, so the ice triple espresso and a venti cup is going to be 287, and we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Honestly, every day. I hate the way everybody drives every single day. Yep, like you. Thank you. Just get out of the middle of the road. Okay. Yes. So, so good. It's Friday. Um, yesterday, I was home sick. Um, it's like, are we going to get a little TMI on this channel? Because I feel like we are, um, it's my like girl week. Okay. Let me have it. And mine, I've talked about this before, I think is just really bad. Like my cramps are the worst. Everything about it is like as bad as I honestly can't imagine it being any worse to be completely honest. Like, is that a real bird? Oh my god, there is this huge bird sitting on the light post with its with its wings just spread. That's why I was like, is that real? Because it started to move and I didn't think it was real because it was sitting in the same position for so long. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, yes, yesterday I was homesick because I like couldn't move. It like it just wasn't gonna happen. I couldn't get out of bed. I was stuck on the heating pad and just dying. So I didn't even get out of bed until like 1040. And then I moved straight to the couch. So. So good. Feeling good. My house is clean. My test is done. I'm about to start a new class. All is well. Um, I haven't seen Morgan since like Tuesday, I guess. Yeah, Tuesday. And I probably won't see him until tomorrow, which is kind of a bummer. A bummer. Um, but we tomorrow are going to go, hopefully, if there's a good movie we want to see, we're going to go to the Alamo Draft House tomorrow because I have a gift card and I want to use it. So I thought that would be a fun date night. Um, and I'll probably be at my parents' house, like, most of the day, at least until mid-afternoon if they come back tomorrow. So, it all depends on if the AC is is working again. So, there's been issues with it or they're replacing it or something like that. I don't know. Um, so, we'll see. But, I feel like this is, like, the least interesting morning video I've ever had. I'm sorry. I um, am going to do a what I eat in a day, though. So, let's talk about that. I don't really know what I'm eating today. I don't really know. Um, I have I have my Premier Protein. <clears throat> and, oh, oh, oh my God, you guys. Okay. <laughs> this is what I want to talk about. Okay, I am having Premier Protein. This is the caramel one, by the way. Um, okay. So, as you know, I have been counting calories along with Weight Watchers points and I think I said it in my last what I ate in a day but me and my friend Georgina who does Weight Watchers she doesn't count calories I did Weight Watchers without counting calories and I've lost up to this point you know 55 56 pounds on Weight Watchers alone now I've started counting calories because I have been fighting with the same two pounds for since February since literally February um and I'm over it. And so I'm trying to switch it up and figure out what's going on. I started tracking calories and I noticed that I was not eating enough. I was eating, I mean, average a thousand calories a day. Um, so I decided to do those calculators online. I came up with the number 1400 for now, and then we're just going to adjust where needed, where it's needed. Um, so the last, I've been counting calories maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks, but this was the first week that I stuck to my 1400 a uh, calorie goal. Are you really not going to let him go? Okay, they are letting. The bus is not going to let him go. Oh my god. 
Okay, no use. I was like, that is rude. Okay, so yeah, I've stuck to my 1,400 1, calorie goal this entire week. And, well, I had like my cheat day or whatever. But you know what I mean. I stuck to my 1,400 plan. And today, I weighed in because it's Friday. I moved my weigh-ins from Thursday to Friday. And I had a loss. Down 1.1 pounds. And it feels good. So I've been stuck between like 159 and 162 159 162 back and forth back and forth somewhere in there 160 161 I've been stuck right in that range of 159 to 162 basically and it's been I've just been over it I don't want to do it anymore I'm tired of looking at those numbers so I hit 158.8 I don't even know seven or something like that uh but I'm down 1.1 from last week and it feels good. It feels good. The lowest I've seen on the scale is 157.7. That was like, I want to say in March, uh, but it wasn't on my weigh-in day, so I didn't track it because I only put in the weight if it's weigh-in day. Uh, and it wasn't there. I like had already gone up again. So 158 point whatever today, I'm feeling good. I'm going to stick again to the 1,400 calories this week. Um, and yeah, I think it's working really well. And I feel really good with the calorie counting. I've still tracked everything in my Weight Watchers app. And most of the days where I'm hitting my right around 1400, it's usually like 1350, 1370. Um, I'm in like the 30 point range, anywhere from 29 to like 35 points in Weight Watcher points. So I wouldn't, that being said, I wouldn't change anything. Um, Weight Watchers 100% changed my life. It's the only diet or lifestyle change that has ever worked for me. It has changed my eating habits. I've lost a ton of weight with it. I'm in 56 pounds. I feel so confident with my body now. I wouldn't change that at all. But being so close to goal, I feel like I had to change something. And so for me, it's just trying something new, which is calories. I still am uh, keeping the Weight Watchers app. I will still put points of everything that I eat uh, because obviously not everybody is on the 23 point range. Uh, so if you're not, or if you are, I am technically, um, I feel like I would have a lot of still good meals and things that you can fit into your day. So keep watching me because I'm still, I still consider myself on Weight Watchers, but just kind of trying something new this month. Um, so that being said, I'm about to be at work. I don't know what I'm going to eat today, so it's going to be a surprise for both of us. I do have a packed lunch here from Wednesday that I didn't eat on Wednesday, but honestly, it doesn't even sound good. Like, ugh, I just don't want to eat that at all. <laughs> so I might, um, I might go out for lunch today and get maybe like sushi or I don't know. Okay, I just got to work. I will talk to you guys later. I have just blabbered on this morning for 22 minutes. 22 minutes. You're probably going to see seven minutes of it. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later and you'll see what I'm going to eat. Calories and points. I'll post it. Like a cargo, you will carry me. I just hope you know my depth. Even though it makes no sense. Sun is unbroken. Too much of emotion. On the lighting, the one I pick a fight with. Everything seems so good. I guess I can't help myself. Would you hold me if I'm in the dark? I'm calling up because I'm right under the star. Okay, so we just got home from work, this little one needs all the attention. But I went to Trader Joe's today um, with a lady that I work with, she's like basically my boss. And we always do like random Trader Joe's runs if we're having a slow Friday. Um, so we went to Trader Joe's and I got this nutritional yeast. This was kind of a spur of the moment purchase. It's 20 calories per tablespoon. Um, and I thought this would be kind of fun to experiment with. Sorry, I know this angle is not working, but Hutch is in the way. Um, with vegetables and maybe some like pasta dishes and stuff, I thought this would be fun. So I picked that up. And then this was a sample 
So they had this bruschetta over a, it's sort of like a, like a really thick marinara consistency. Uh, they had this drizzled with this balsamic glaze. So good over like a little piece of baguette. Oh my God, you guys, it was amazing. And I thought that would be really good for a future date night with me and Morgan. Then I picked up these mini blueberry tea scones. These are so good. It says mini, but these are like, I mean, that's the size of my palm for sure. These are a good, I mean, can you see them next to Hutch? They're a good, they're a really good size. So these are a little higher in calories, 220, I believe. Yeah, 220, I don't know how many points they are. Um, but for like a weekend breakfast with a cup of coffee, ugh, delicious. It would still be under 300 calories though because my coffee is only 59 calories. So there's that. And then I picked up these, which I've been wanting to try. I want to say there are maybe four Weight Watchers Smart Points, three or four, but I think that's really high because they're only 80 calories per, um, per little lemon bar. So I'm going to take these, uh, I'm going to take one out for, I'd to take to my parents' house tonight and I'll show you guys the actual size once I get it out. So there's that, and then I picked up my mom a Mother's Day card. It says, Strong Women Raise Strong Girls, and then the inside says, um, To the Strongest Woman I Know, Happy Mother's Day. So I just thought that was so cute. Mother's Day is coming up soon, so trying to be prepared. These, I think I showed you all these earlier. Like, how gorgeous. So I'm about to deal with those and get those put in this vase. This is a little thing that I got from Morgan. So putting it out here, it looks like it already stopped raining, but uh, I bet it's gonna start up here in just a second again. It's supposed to storm all day. Don't knock that over, sweet boy. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all that quick Trader Joe's haul. I'm about to pack up and head out to my parents' house. And we will talk about dinner when I'm on my way there. It's uh, like 5.40 right now. I just went home um, and packed up like an overnight bag to take out to my parents' house. And now I'm headed over there. But first, I'm going to pick up dinner for me and my grandma, which is going to be Taco Bell. I'm like so pumped. I'm so pumped. Um, so I'm going to get the power bowl power menu bowl something like that it has chicken rice beans lettuce um pico sour cream guac and like a ranch or something but i'm gonna say no guac because i just don't like it and i think on their website it says it saves like 35 calories or something so uh i have it tracked as uh, 480 calories the only thing that pops up is um like when i type it in to track it is like no sour cream so it doesn't take as much off as it would if it was guac but that's fine 480 is good enough so I'm gonna get that with a diet soda I'm gonna get my grandma some nachos and um it's gonna be a great it's gonna be a great dinner I'm I've been looking forward to it all freaking day <laughs> all day so I also packed my own creamer because I use the dairy-free creamer and my parents don't uh, at their house so I packed up a little thing of my own creamer and two of the blueberry scones uh, one for me and then one for my grandma tomorrow uh, for breakfast so that is the plan as far as my next meal after dinner goes I meant to pack a lemon bar for tonight and I forgot I already had a pre-tract and everything so um, that's okay I still have half an ounce of brownie brittle that I haven't eaten uh, which I already have pre-tract and then if I need something else sweet uh, I'm sure my parents have sweets and I can make something work. I think without the lemon bar, I still have like 115 calories left. 115, I feel like that sounded weird when I said it. Uh, so I could probably find 100 calorie, something sweet if I want it. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, currently drinking my sparkling water. I don't know why the it won't focus, but it's just the HEB sparkling water in lime. Um, 
and yeah, that's what I've got going on. I brought my laptop with me. I'm going to edit this video probably. And then me and Morgan were talking. So tomorrow we we're going to go to the movie because it was supposed to be raining. But now it looks like it might not rain. So if it's sunny tomorrow, I think we're going to go and have a pool day uh, instead of going to the movie. And then if it's rainy, we'll go to the movie, basically. And then uh, on Sunday, if we don't go to the pool tomorrow, we might go to the pool Sunday if it's sunny. So we'll see. But... Um, I probably won't film anything this weekend. Let me get this. I will show you dinner whenever I get home. And then if I end up having a sweet treat, I'll show you that as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys had a really good week this week. A good Friday. I have had a really good Friday. Like nothing specific happened. I went to Trader Joe's at work, so that was kind of fun. Um, but for the most part, it's just been an average day, you know, like nothing crazy. But I'm just in like such a good mood, like such a good mood. I don't know what it is. Honestly, I think it's because yesterday when I took off work because I didn't feel good, I got a lot done at home and it just kind of like, like refreshed my, my mind, I guess. It gave, I just, I went to sleep feeling really good. I woke up feeling really good. Just overall, it felt really good. So I don't know. I feel bad because I had to turn because I had the right away, but this guy's been waiting to turn. I think he's trying to get in the Taco Bell line. I'm so sorry. Um, I hope they have this because honestly, not that I ever look at the menu, I always, always get the cheesy potato griller. Add taco meat though. Oh my God, you guys. It's so good. It's so good. I've gotten like everyone hooked. It's amazing. It's not low in points. Don't order. It's like 13 points, but oh, it's so good. But yeah, I like don't know that I've seen this bowl and I hate, oh, I see it. Power menu. Okay. I don't like ordering things that I can't see on the menu because I feel like they're going to be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no. Okay. Talk to y'all soon. I said that I needed you. Okay, y'all. So here is the power bowl with chicken. I took off the guacamole, which subtracts 35 calories. The total bowl is 500, and then you minus the 35. And I think, according to my math, that gets you to 465 calories. Um, it's a pretty good size, you know, to like two hands. It's as big as the nachos. These are for my grandma, but it's a pretty good size meal. I'm excited. It has the ranch, sour cream, cheese, pico lettuce, chicken, rice, and then there's beans in here, I think. Yes, right here, black beans. So I'm excited about this. I also got myself a Diet Dr. Pepper, even though I already had one today. Oops. I'm going to have some mild sauce, probably literally all of this, because I love mild sauce. And yeah, I'm excited for dinner. Would you?